What's going on guys? So I have a really interesting video for you today and this may actually help you whenever it comes to picking the right tow vehicle or the right RV for your tow vehicle. So basically, you know, people ping me all the time asking me if their setup is the right setup or if they need to get a different truck or a different size trailer or what might be the ideal trailer size for the truck that they own or what might be the ideal truck size for the trailer that they're planning on getting. And this video might help address it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around here and I'm going to go up to the sticker, the same sticker that you can look at whenever you're at an RV dealership. And I'm gonna tell you the numbers that I look for and the recommendations I have based on the RV that we're looking at. So we're gonna start with this huge Flagstaff travel trailer right here. And then you might get an idea of what we're doing and uh, hopefully this makes sense to you and it helps you out. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so whenever I do my reviews, I say, okay, let's start with the numbers. But that's all we're gonna do today. We're gonna take a look at the outside of the trailer. We're gonna look at the numbers. This is not a internal kind of review like I typically do, because first of all, a lot of these have the slides in, so I won't be able to get through them. But I think this might help you again whenever it comes to shopping for a vehicle to tow your trailer or vice versa. All right, so this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 11,320 pounds. It's gonna have a total length of 36 feet, eight inches long, dry weight of 9,536 pounds, and a cargo capacity of 1,725 pounds. So whenever I factor tow vehicles, I always wanna look at how much cargo capacity it has versus the gross vehicle weight rating. And in this particular case, the dry weight of this unit, even after you take the cargo capacity out and this thing's completely dry, is still heavy, 9,536 pounds. So in my opinion, this is three quarter ton truck towable, but because of its length, this is a very, very long travel trailer. I would recommend ideally a long bed or a long wheelbase three quarter ton truck or greater. The main reason why is because you want as much stability as possible and it's harder to create leverage on a truck that's longer and heavier. So a three quarter ton truck at least that has a long bed would ideally be the truck I would recommend for a travel trailer like this. Now, of course, people are gonna say, you know, I can tow with a half ton. You know, you do what you do based on how safe you wanna be. That's the best way I can and I can really put it. But ideally speaking, you know, the perfect combination for this would be at least a three quarter ton pickup truck, crew cab, long wheelbase. Don't really care if it's two wheel drive or four wheel drive. All right, let's move on to the next. Next, we have this Palomini by Palomino, All right? This is kind of cool. It's the 186 RBS, relatively small travel trailer. The length of this unit is 21 feet, nine inches long, has a dry weight of 3,956 pounds. It's a very lightweight travel trailer, has a gross vehicle weight rating of 4,905 pounds. So single axle, it's under 5,000 pounds total. So in my opinion, at least a half ton truck. Um, it's not that big of a concern to me on if you get the most powerful half ton truck, but you're gonna want a half ton truck with a tow package. Uh, mainly because it's gonna get you the things you need to connect directly to a trailer like this for the best towing experience. You don't need a three quarter ton truck. You could get away with your full size later model SUVs that have the higher tow capacity, but I wouldn't put this thing behind anything smaller than a half ton. I know that there's you know, compact trucks or mid-size trucks that have like up to 7,000 pounds worth of tow capacity, but the reality is, is you do want, you do want more weight and power towing this thing so the trailer's not wagging the truck. So you don't have that tail wagging the dog scenario and I think a half ton truck ideally would be perfect for this. I know some people will disagree and they'll say like a midsize truck is fine or a midsize SUV. I personally wouldn't do it. I would put this behind a half ton truck. And again, it doesn't have to be an extreme half ton truck, just a basic half ton truck with, you know, 14 to 1600 pounds worth of cargo capacity and at least an eight to 9,000 pound tow rating. All right, let's move on to the next. Drop your comments below. I'd love to know what you think of my suggestions as well as you watch this video. Okay, next we have another super compact travel trailer. And when I say compact, this thing is still like eight and a half, nine feet tall, taller than that if you include the air conditioning unit. So these aren't what I would consider to be like super, super compact, like teardrop units, because they still have a lot of height to them and you can still easily walk through them without hitting your head. That said, we're taking a look at a Viking single axle. This is gonna be really lightweight. The dry weight on this unit is 2,785 pounds, 20 foot and 20 and a half foot overall length and the gross vehicle weight rating on this is 3,943 pounds. Super lightweight. You could get away with a midsize SUV or even a midsize pickup truck with the correct tow package. That's so important because there's so many SUVs 
and mid-sized trucks that have really horrendous towing numbers if you don't get them with the towing package. Towing package usually bumps the towing specs up to at least five, six, seven thousand pounds, and that's what you're going to want for something like this. Again, the point isn't to max out your tow vehicle, the point is to have an enjoyable towing experience where you're not white knuckling it or stressed out. Ideally, at least a mid sized pickup truck or SUV that has a tow capacity rating of between five and six thousand pounds and a cargo capacity rating of at least twelve to thirteen hundred pounds. And that's going to be to fit your whole family, to be able to support them, plus the tongue weight of this and everything you might load inside of it. But again, that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, now I'm standing a little further back on this one because this is a huge unit. This is a Grand Design Solitude. So this is a luxury fifth wheel. I wouldn't consider it like the highest luxury and it's not like a Riverstone or a DRV, but it's certainly above a mid-range fifth wheel. Again, Solitude from Grand Design. This is a mid-bunk unit, so it's relatively long. It's about 43 and a half feet long. So it's a good size fifth wheel. It's got four slide outs on it, two on the back, one right here and one right here. It has a drop frame, so it has a 10 inch I-beam frame attached to a 12 inch main beam frame. Let's take a look at the numbers on this one. So this is going to have a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,800 pounds and a cargo capacity of 2,332 pounds. It's going to have twin axle 17.5 inch uh, H-rated tires. So yeah, this is, a, uh, this is a beast. It rides on 7,000 pound axles. All right, so in my opinion, this is towable ideally by a one-ton pickup truck, dually. Um, and I say that because whenever everything is said and done and you load this thing up completely, you're gonna be transferring probably upwards of 3,000 pounds worth of weight to the bed of your truck. And that's before you load anything inside of the truck, that's before you include your fifth wheel hitch. And you know, whenever you factor people weight and all that other stuff, ideally I want the most stability I want the most redundancy, those extra two tires, um, to be able to support this type of tall, extra tall, wide profile fifth wheel. So that said, ideally, I would say a one ton dually pickup truck. Um, you can get away with a single rear wheel, one ton truck. I definitely would recommend a long wheelbase truck, a long bed, just so you can support tighter turning and more maneuverability with something this big. But yeah, ideally a dually. Uh, a newer modern dually, but you could again get away with a long wheelbase, a single rear wheel truck, or I know some people would probably tow this with a short wheelbase, a regular bed, you know, one ton, not my recommendation. And I certainly wouldn't put this on the back of a three quarter ton truck, but I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Let me know, leave a comment below on this unit. Let's move on. Okay, so now we're looking at an Alliance Avenue mid profile fifth wheel. What do I mean by mid profile? means it's a little bit shorter, right? And this is designed for not as heavy duty towing as you might see with some of your larger fifth wheels. It's a more compact floor plan. This specific unit is about 40 feet long, actually closer to 38 feet long. Let's take a look at the numbers on this one. So this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 12,500 pounds. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of 2,162 pounds and a dry weight of 10,278 pounds. And I know there's a lot of folks who would say this is easily three quarter ton truck towable. And I'm not gonna disagree with you. I believe that there are three quarter ton trucks out there that have upwards of 35, 3,800, even 4,000 pounds worth of cargo capacity. And you'd be able to tow something like this. You have more than enough cargo capacity for you know roughly 20, 500 pounds worth of loaded pin weight on the back of your truck. Um, that said though, ideally for this, I would recommend a one ton truck. Um, a single rear wheel truck would be fine. A three quarter ton truck, again, can get away towing this, but ideally a one ton single rear wheel truck would probably be your best solution because it can handle that additional cargo capacity. You're just not having to deal with the stresses of if you're overloading it or not. But you know, for those of you who are starting to type and say, I can tow this with a three quarter ton. Yeah, I believe you can. Just make sure you have the right cargo capacity because there's a lot of three quarter ton trucks out there that have less cargo capacity than some max payload package half ton trucks. I would not put this behind a half ton truck mainly because when you're talking about over a ton of pressure pressing down on the back and very soft suspension that you see on half ton trucks you're asking for a very very white knuckle towing experience when you go over expansion joints or things like that to where this is going to start pressing down and bouncing that rear suspension and possibly putting you in a precarious position that you just don't want to be in. So at least a three quarter ton, in my opinion, 
Uh, if you get a higher payload package, three quarter ton, that should be ideal. Um, if you want the perfect truck for it, one ton single rear wheel truck, I think would be fine. And you could get a shorter bed truck too with something like this. But again, you definitely wanna be cautious of how short of a bed you go with because it can make turning a little difficult unless you get like a slider hitch or something in the back that accommodates for tighter turning. Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up for the first half of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna make this a two-part segment so we don't bore you to death for folks who aren't looking for the, the trailers I've been showing so far. We're gonna get into some heavier trailers, some longer, taller trailers, some fifth wheels, and some things that will uh, maybe surprise you in terms of my recommendation. But guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this first half. Please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications so you know when, a, when another video pops up and you can watch the second half of this because I think you'll enjoy it. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.